This is Niall Brady from WindowsMove.com showing you the Lenovo UEFI video fix. And here we go. Start the task sequence. Just zoom out a bit so you can see when the video actually changes. And press F8 a couple of times. Drag these windows to either end of the screen so that you can see that the screen does resize itself. And the step starts. After the use toolkit package, uh, the step will kick in. And it's dynamic, so it will check for each model and based on the model detected if the folder exists uh, with the driver it will load the driver using drive load and dynamically change resolution use toolkit package still downloading files We'll take a look at the log file as well after this. Yeah, we're getting on fifty percent complete. Suspense is gathering. Anyway, the name of the log will be uh, UEFI video driver in winp.log and it's going to be located in x colon backslash windows backslash temp backslash sns ts log but it won't be created until the, the uh, step actually runs so now the uh, group should kick off after you use the toolkit package has run it's downloaded it's running now This is a Lenovo X230. I've pre-populated the video drivers in the hidden folder, as explained in the guide. Here we go. At this point it's uh, downloading the uh, video driver files before using drive load to actually load the inf file itself. So this is a good sign. It wouldn't take this long if the drivers didn't exist. And there you have it. It has changed the resolution, which is exactly what we wanted it to do. So now if we um, check the actual location of the uh, log file, trying to type while holding this camera is not the easiest thing in the world. Trace UAV. So 
let's take a look at the log file. As you can see, it's, uh, or hopefully as you can see, it says Lenovo found continuing detected the following model ThinkPad X230 drivers should be found at, and there's the location. It checks for the folder location, and then it uses drive load to load the driver. So that's it. Hope you like this post. Thank you.